from Good Tuesday, January 16th, 2007. I'm Joanne and this is Brie Pettis. Hello, Brie. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, how are you? Hanging all right. <laughs> We're in noisy New York. What are you doing here in New York? I'm testing out the theory that I can make a podcast from anywhere. So I'm visiting friends and then I'm making podcasts, making things here in New York City. It's, is it working? It's been a blast. It's been a lot of fun. I just went up and saw my friend Steve up in Boston and we made a bird feeder webcam. Bird feeder webcam, can we take a look? Yeah, let's, let's check it out. This is Catch a Birdie. Let's go drill some holes. That's nice. See, a little bird can sit here and it can eat right out of that little hole. Perfect. Turns out the holes were a little too small for the birds to get at the feed. They were quarter inch holes. So we're going to do three eighth inch holes and that should make the feed easier for the birds to get at. Let's drill those holes. Now you have a three eighth inch hole and uh, that's going to be much better for the birds. Please hang up and try again. For this next one, we're going to go ahead and use some wood. This is one by two and three eighths inch dowels. And then I've got, for the little bowl that the birds are going to eat out of, I've got a caramel corn little container here that we're going to cut up with some scissors. I thought about using some PVC or ABS plastic for this, but, you know, we had this just knocking around here in the basement and uh, looks like it's going to work just fine. Okay, let's cut everything out. Great. Not much need for glue here, it just pops right in and it's not going anywhere. My original strategy was to put a little trough in there that I was going to make out of this container, but after some reflection, we decided that this would pretty much invite every squirrel for the nearest 20 miles to have a feast at our front door. So we've switched over to another strategy. This is hot chili pepper suet. And basically, this stuff is filled with chili peppers, which birds don't mind, but squirrels do. So hopefully we'll keep the squirrels away with this suet stuff. Yeah, this, this worked good. Zip ties, it's like, you can use them for anything. The roof is on. I've gone ahead and I've uh, attached this with glue and I've made little eyelets here so that it can hang from there as well. And those are just tightened down so that it's on there nice and tight. And then we've got the little suet thing and then we've got some little little bars here for the little birdies to sit on and, and eat the suet and uh, we're all set. This little section over here is a little odd. It's a little bit longer here you might notice because we're gonna set up a webcam right over here. All right, we're all ready to put up our bird feeders. Steve's got his bird feeder right here. And then we've got this one with the webcam attached onto it, which looks really good. All right, now we've got the webcam all set up and it looks great. We've got it here on the Steve TV, which is his power book hooked up to his giant HD TV so we can get a really nice picture. And uh, I think a bird's about to arrive outside. We've, we'll, see, we'll see how this works. Okay, bird, are you there? Oh yeah, see? And we've got the motion sensor hooked up right here so that when it sees motion, it takes a picture and you can tell it's taking a picture right here because the little bars go up. Oh, this is very exciting. All right, well, thank you, Bird. I hope you got enough to eat. Bye-bye. All right, I'm Bree Pettis here at Steve Garfield's house, and you've watched another Weekend Projects. Go out there, make yourself a really great bird feeder, hook up a webcam, and send us the URL so we can go check out your birds in your neighborhood. Have a great weekend.